Hey, what's up guys? I've had a lot of people request that I do like an office tour or just a rundown of all of my Star Wars collectibles and as we're approaching May 4th Star Wars Day, I figured today was a good day to do that. So I'm going to take you through where I work on Star Wars Explained, talk about all of the collections that I have, and I'll even take you through my beloved Big Shrine. But first, I should mention that a lot of my collection is digital. Most of my comics come through Comixology, and I've got a ton of Star Wars books on Kindle. I also have quite a few digital trading cards, thanks to Topps. If you've never heard of their Star Wars Card Trader app, it allows you to collect and trade over 1,000 officially licensed Star Wars digital cards that include all of your favorite characters, vehicles, and locations from the Star Wars universe. You can collect the original Star Wars 1977 set or more modern trading cards that include some really cool art. The app is completely free to use. Every day you log in, you will basically get an allowance of coins. You can use those coins to purchase different packs that will contain different inserts, so just read the descriptions and see if they contain cards you're interested in collecting and start opening. If you run out of coins, you have the option to purchase more or earn more by watching ads within the app, but it's not required. You can simply wait until your allowance recharges and open more free packs every day. If you're having trouble getting a specific card, you can get into the trading side of things. You can trade cards with anyone else who has the app, browse for offers, or make one of your own to complete full sets. Meet real people, make friends, complete trades, and build your collection using features like 9 for 9 trading and trade ratings. You can also feel free to hit me up on the app. My username is Star Wars Minute, all one word, which is a relic from the olden days of the channel. I try to hop on when I can and make some trades. Thank you Tops for helping satisfy collectors everywhere, and thank you for sponsoring my own collection video. I figured we'd start with my desk since that's the part of the room that you can see every week in the Q&A. Um, you probably always noticed my Funko on the shelf up here. I try to keep them kind of relevant to whatever is about to come out in Star Wars, so we have a bunch of Star Wars Rebels, we've got Thrawn next to his Thrawn book, and we've got our sequel era characters in preparation for The Last Jedi. Right here we've got Darth Maul facing off against old Ben Kenobi in celebration of the episode Twin Sons, and right next to them is our own custom Funko. It's me, made by Big J Custom, so thank you so much for that, man. Uh, I had to leave that on my shelf because I love it so much. Right next to our silver button is a Graflex. This is what they used to make the original lightsaber in A New Hope. Molly used to work in a camera repair shop and this came across her desk one day and she asked if she could take it home and they said yes, so now it's ours. And finally, this artwork that's displayed behind everything on the shelf is from my good friend Schlag. He was actually the best man in my wedding and I thought these prints were really unique and I hadn't ever seen them around before so I like having them on display as well. Here is yet another gift from Molly. I know it's not Star Wars, but I also happen to love Indiana Jones. It is a signed poster. It's got signatures from Harrison Ford and Steven Spielberg and Denholm Elliott, John Reese davies Karen Allen, Sean Connery. It's got, like, everybody on it. It's one of my most prized possessions. Right here next to my desk is my piano that I can play. It's the only instrument I can play, but I haven't in a while, and right now it's being used to display artwork, and I've got... Max Rebo and his piano right here. Right above my piano is the wall of Funko Pop, and these are definitely the things that we have gotten the most into collecting as adults. I'll show you my kind of childhood action figure collection in a minute, but this is definitely our, our big thing right now. They're just so addictive to collect and I don't know why, but I'll run through a quick montage of some of our favorites. This is bookshelf number one. Sometimes you can see it in the background of like gaming streams or something like that, but I'll just run you through this shelf by shelf. Starting with the top shelf is the very first dollar that was ever donated to the channel by a person with the username Burzmo. And of course this isn't the actual dollar, I just thought it would be fun to kind of symbolically frame that moment. Also on the shelf we have two Kotobukiya statues. This one is Luke Starkiller versus Darth Vader. It's the Ralph McQuarrie concept art. I am always a sucker for any concept art things and I just think that these look awesome. Right next to that are the statues of Triple Zero and BT-1. They are Star Wars Celebration exclusives that I picked up 
And they're some of my favorite characters in the new canon, I just had to have them, and they look great. The next shelf is just kind of a mishmash of things that didn't fit anywhere else. We are just running out of space, so we have some extra Funko in here. We've just got some ships. Uh, this is the Star Wars Celebration exclusive Lego set that I was lucky enough to pick up, and that was a lot of fun to build. But this shelf is kind of my pride and joy. Anyone who watches this channel knows how much I love Biggs, and this is the Big Shrine. It has popped up in a couple videos here and there, but let's just go into every little piece and break it down bit by bit. Starting on the left is the helmet of Biggs Darklighter. This was given to me as a birthday present by Molly. Yet another present by her. This one was amazing. And inside the helmet is kind of my white whale. It took us a long time to get a hold of this, but it is the Biggs Funko Pop. It was a Comic-Con exclusive from like 2012, and really the only thing in this shelf that was actually really hard to get a hold of. I've got five Biggs action figures. One of them was from my childhood. Two of them were given to me at Star Wars Celebration by fans, which was very touching. This one here is from his deleted scene on Tatooine in A New Hope. And this one is from when he was still a part of the Empire in the comic Darklighter, which is also a part of the shrine right back here. That was actually given to me by Andy Blanchard. And right next to that is the picture I got to take with Garrick Hagen at Star Wars Celebration, which was one of the best moments of my entire life. And to the right of that is the signed photograph I got at Star Wars Celebration. We also got two of the Star Wars Celebration Hot Wheels. We got two because I wanted to leave one in the package. I love this car because it has a little mustache on the grill. We also have two X-Wings that are specifically mentioned to be his Red 3 X-Wing, and you can even see Biggs piloting one of them. And finally, I just have an autographed card from Topps that I picked up off eBay. Below that shelf is where I keep most of my Star Wars books, mostly reference materials and things that I actually use to make my videos. And the bottom two shelves are kind of full of non-Star Wars stuff, although there's a, a smattering of things, but I've got my collection of Dresden Files books, which is one of my favorite book series, and I'm still patiently waiting for Peace Talks, Jim Butcher. And we also have um, Michael Crichton books on the bottom, Patrick Rothfuss, a couple of my other favorite authors. And uh, we have these big figs that we got, I think, almost two Christmases ago. But that is pretty much it for this bookshelf. And this bookshelf is the last stop on the tour. And I'll start by going over our other Indiana Jones collectibles. This is a replica of the Lost Ark from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And this is a replica of the fertility idol that he tries to steal at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And these things are both from Sideshow Collectibles. I got them a few years ago, and I love them. But the bigger thing to talk about here are all of these action figures. These were my childhood collectibles, um, where the Funko are what I collect now. This is what I collected back in the day. And it was kind of a family affair. Like, some of them were really hard to find. I remember Yoda and Lando, Luke, Obi-Wan, Leia... Like, a lot of the really ones that you think should be common were difficult to find, and I remember my mom would take me around all over the place to try to find them at Toys R Us or Walmart or wherever, and uh, it, it was something that I'm very grateful for her for doing. But I think I collected these when I was around the age of 10 to 13. I remember still getting into them when The Phantom Menace was coming out, but as I got into middle school and high school, I kind of grew out of them. And I actually gave them all away to a friend of the family who had kids about the right age for them. And so they were into Star Wars and they took them and they loved them for a while. And especially as I got into my 20s, I kind of regretted doing that. And again, my parents came to the rescue and got in contact with that family friend. And they were like, do you still use them? And they're like, no, they're all in storage. So for my birthday a couple years ago, my parents got all my action figures back and gave them to me, and that was a huge nostalgia overload. So I have all my action figures back, and I'm glad that someone else got to enjoy them for a while while they were kids, and now I'm glad that I have them back when I'm a, a big kid. That's gonna do it for my office tour and my collection rundown. I hope those of you that 
We're interested in seeing this, got a better look at where I do all of my work on the channel, and enjoyed seeing some of the things that I enjoy collecting, but tomorrow is May the 4th, and I have something really big planned. I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you guys have a great day. As always, thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.